India's population size and distribution. As per the census released on March 2001, the total population of India was 1,028 million. We crossed 1 billion mark. And as per the census given in 2011, the Indian population is 121 million. So, now when it comes to here, this population of 1 million above, let's see, 1 billion above stays randomly or rapidly spread over in 3.28 million square kilometers. Now, we get a fundamental doubt. Are these people living equally distributed in all corners of the nation? No, we are absolutely wrong when it comes to that point. Because we have a state called Uttar Pradesh where the maximum number of people live here. That is, UP has 166 million people, which accounts for total 16% of the entire India's population lives only in one particular state. When it comes to the other states, like other hand, Haryana and Sikkim, all together, we have 0.5 million people staying there. One hand, we have one state having 166 million. On the other hand, we have Haryana and Sikkim staying or comprised of population 0.5 million. And when it comes to Lakshadweep, we have less than a million here, less than a lakh actually the population that is just 60,000 people staying in the islands of Lakshadweep. So the population is not at all equally distributed. It varies from place to place, region to region. The entire population of India, most of the population lives only in five major states that is Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. Together we have half of the population living in these five states. And when it comes to Rajasthan, Rajasthan is the largest area occupying state where its population is 5.5% in the entire India's population. So like this, the population size and it is randomly distributed. Uttar Pradesh with a maximum populous state, well in coming to Sikkim and Haryana, lowest populated states, well understanding the distribution, in five major states in India comprise more than 50% of the entire India's population. Those are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. Rajasthan, though being the largest state, the population percentage was not quite relevant to its area's size. So, like this, India accounts for 2.4% of the entire world's area when it comes to in terms of area. But it is having large population and the second most populous state in the world. This is about the population size of India. Now, understanding India's population distribution by density. What is density? Density is nothing but the number of people living in per unit area. For example, the number of people living in per unit, let us take as one kilometer. So one square kilometer area, number of people living in that particular area is known as density. So density is nothing but taking the people into count of the people living in one area along the all four sides. So one square kilometer area, how many people are living is known as density. And according to the census of 2001, the density of India per square kilometer is 324. It got raised up to 382 as per the 2011 census. So the population per every square kilometer, you find 382 people living in that area. So you may get a doubt. Is it common in the entire nation? No, absolutely not. It is different. For example, in the state like West Bengal, as per the 2001 census, you have 904 people living in one square kilometer of area. It is three times larger than or three times got multiplied than the average density of India. In India, averagely, we have 308 for overall nation. But when it comes to West Bengal, we have 
900 plus that is three times double than the national average just on the other hand when it moves on to arunachal pradesh you find per square kilometer only 13 people so this is less than 10 percent of what the average india's density is so the density also keeps changing we have just discussed the average density but in west bengal you have three times larger than the national average while we have in arunachal pradesh less than 10 percent of the national average so the density also varies from place to place region to region let us now find out in which state do we have very less than the national average population that is in assam we have very less to very less national average or the average of the density where the people live here the reason behind this one is basing on the terrain of the region the assam is a land where we have many hills which are dissected and which are mostly roughly natured the terrain itself is very rough and the soil availability is very low not suitable for living not suitable for cultivation like these all features accounted for having less number of population living in assam while coming to the northern plains of uh, kerala region in the northern part of kerala the entire land is very plain fertile and the soil availability is abundant where it gives a very fertile plain for cultivation so this made kerala to have more population when compared to assam region so the relief features of that particular region also contribute on a larger scale for making the people to get settled in that particular region so density is directly related with the relief features of that particular region if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus